you don't see it, let me tell you a secret. Take it shot down. Take it shot down. Really to talk about uh, Chief Chris Okubajo, I never had the privilege of meeting him in close uh, proximity, but of course, doing big wig, his name kept coming up every day. He's the doyen, he's the godfather, he's the fa- forefather, he's, he's up. I you think corporate commercial practice in Nigeria? His name comes up, may he so rest in peace. My father was a reverend and he wanted to have a child who is a lawyer. That was how I went to London in 1950. There are lawyers who sit in their office and people come to them to seek their legal advice in commercial and general business matters. Chief Chris Oladipo of Dubai is a doyen. He's the first. He's the first Nigerian who specialized in commercial law practice, almost to the exception of all other aspects of uh, law practice. From the very beginning, when I got to know him, uh, I, I knew he valued intellectual discussion. He, he had an, uh, an intellectually curious mind. And because he, he had that kind of disposition, it, it was very easy to get on with him. And I, I think we discussed everything under the sun any time we met. In those days, they used to post law students to Chambers for Chambers attachment. I just got lucky. I was posted to his farm. This was a 21-year-old boy entering into this big man's office, and the humility was striking to me. This man saw me in his office. He got up and shook my hand. Was I dreaming, or is this real? And he even took me to the office. This would be your table. I was just dumbfounded. I was speechless. But that's the event for you. Chris Ekubanjo was an amazing force when you think of the number of people who went through his law firm. From a, a role model perspective, I always kept my eye on him. I have a very good friend, a guy called Tukumbo Kubanjo. His father ran Chris Ekubanjo & Co, which was the foremost corporate law firm in Nigeria at the time. So when it was time in law school for us to do law school um, office attachment, which is one of the programs we do in law school, I went to Tokes and I said, can I do it in your father's office? He said, hey, check. And he came back and he said, his father says it's fine, I could. So I did a six-week office attachment there. And that's what changed my perspective. When I was with, with the chief, one of the key things was the fact that he led by example, dedication to duty, due diligence. I remember in those days, there was, we just had typewriters. And of course, chief would type, write all his, uh, his, you know, whatever briefs or whatever it was. They would have it typed. He would correct it. They would retype it again, he would recorrect it. There was no document that ever left his, his table that was not corrected at least 15 times. That much I remember, you know, that it was, that, that was the, the dedication to duty, to uh, 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 good works and to excellence. Uh, excellence. I think he had an eye for talent. Uh, he looked out for people who he thought uh, had drive, ambition and so on. So because when I went into the office, I found that the others, the other lawyers there, uh, were also people who were uh, hardworking uh, and who were enterprising. So I think he looked out for enterprising people. He allowed us to handle quite complex transactions for young lawyers, but of course under his watchful guidance, he, he would watch out and make sure that we were properly guided. I was with him just for two years, but at the end of the two years, I felt so confident uh, in my ability uh, to actually represent uh, clients in commercial practice because of the way he had exposed us and of the way he also treated us. My good friend Udol Udama, his son to the great uh, Justice Udama, this, this law practice, Chris Okumanjan, he had interned there, they're very good. But, um, so he gave me the address and I went and put in an application. I got invited and spoke to one of the senior lawyers there at the time of the venture. I spoke to Chief of the Manager himself, struck a chord from the very beginning. And a lot of the things I carried today in my practice were mounted in here. I got to know that almost every big financial or industrial or company in the country. They were always using Chris Ogumbanjo for their business 
matters. I was amazed by the enormity of the extensive influence and what he was doing. Something in me said I should be very close to him. Much of the fortune and the success I have today can be related to Prince of Let me tell you who's really making moves out here. It's them big wigs. I took a different path, a different road. After I studied the craft and learned the code. And my experience hasn't been told. So here I stand before you, my life's work exposed. Yeah, call me a big wig, yeah. I'm with the big wigs, huh? Yeah, we doing big things, huh? Yeah, we are the big wigs, huh? See, when it gets to conflict, justice has to be blind. But before that conflict, justice can help you guide. That's what I do. I take.